Obi Fernandez, and I'm an entrepreneur and writer. And my current company is called Right Pay, and we are working on a startup product called Do Props, which is a web-based tool for employees uh, to participate in giving recognition and positive feedback to each other, and then that ties into their compensation. It's called The Rails Three Way, and it's pretty much a rewrite of my first book, The Rails Way. And it's a reference book. It's meant to be at the right hand or left hand of a programmer that uh, works in Rails full time. And uh, to give them the knowledge uh, at their disposal that they need to, to do their job as a web developer. Rails 3 Way is, is pretty unique in that it, um, it takes some elements of the Rails framework and um, emphasizes them uh, above uh, what would be considered the, probably the, the normal place of those elements. So for instance, RSpec is probably, if you, if you take a poll, is the preferred uh, testing framework of 75% of Rails developers. And um, ever since our spec took hold, I've kind of looked at it and said, you know, this is superior than the default that comes with Rails, which um, is just the basic test unit from Ruby. And I said, okay, so this is what we're going to cover in the book. And we give a good primer on our spec in the book. Uh, it's a pretty beefy chapter uh, all of its own. And uh, that's what we use throughout the examples. The number one thing to take away is that if you do things the Rails way, hence the name, you know, you, you do get a lot of benefits. There's not a lot of need to reinvent wheels and to invent uh, all sorts of things. Uh, so I try to do a good job of expressing to the, to the reader that there is um, just so much depth there. Uh, so number one, the, the fact that Rails is opinionated and has these ways of doing things, and if you don't try to fight against those conventions, you're going to get really far. Uh, the second part that I try to get across uh, through little sidebars and through call-outs to uh, open so source authors in the, in the community and the way that I talk about the people that, that created the Rails framework is that the community around Rails is a big part of its appeal. So, um, you know, I really hope that as as folks read the book, they, they understand that the reason that we're so in love with Ruby and Rails has more to do with the community and the innovation and the creativity that comes out of the community than it does with any of the actual code. Um, and it, it's a big book. And despite the fact that it's a big book, um, I try to get across that there's so much depth there. You know, the, the Rails 3-Way, actually, I shrunk it down by a couple hundred pages. It's still like a 750-page book. Uh, but I tried to make it a, a little more manageable size by cutting out some of the parts that uh, I thought would get dated more quickly. But um, still, what's there, even though it's comprehensive, uh, covers, you know, still a, a somewhat small part of the overall learning curve for the framework. Uh, when when Rails started out in 2005, and so a lot of people saw the initial promo video that DHH, the creator of Rails, did, and he did a blog in 15 minutes. And one of the uh, thoughts that got put out there uh, into the wide world was Rails is something easy that people can learn, and uh, the the learning curve is pretty steep nowadays. It's pretty different than what it was five years ago. Uh, there's a lot there, and Really, where I see Rails uh, being useful in the marketplace is as a power tool. Um, it's said that Ruby uh, doesn't give you a uh, rope to hang yourself. Ruby gives you enough rope to hang your entire team. <laughs> yeah, it's, def it's definitely a power tool. And Ra Rails is an expression of that power. Uh, it's a tool meant for professional developers to really get their job done. Uh, quickly is just one aspect of that. 
powerfully, elegantly, and effectively uh, with high productivity. That that's the other aspect of it. 